So webcams can be extremely useful. You can see family around the world, capture images and video, do unspeakable things on live streams, on websites, even control your computer with your head. Let's take our webcams a little bit further. Let's turn them into heart rate monitors. You may be thinking, what extra equipment do I need to buy for this to work? You don't actually need to buy anything. Your webcam can detect your heart rate just by looking at your face. So how does this work? If I give you an idea of what the program looks like, you can see this guy here has a little green patch on his face. Basically, the software will take out all the other colors from the skin on your forehead except for green. And without getting too technical, it will analyze the changes over time that's done in that little field and provide you with a beats per minute result. So that's pretty much how it works and it's all done through software. So firstly, you need to get hold of Python XY. This is a specific version of Python with scientific extras added to it. And I'll provide all the download links in the description. When you head into the setup area, make sure under the Python area, you have ETS unticked. So we'll see if we can find that here somewhere. Here we go. Just make sure that's unticked. You also need OpenCV, which is open source uh, computer vision, I believe. And uh, just make sure that's ticked. Go ahead and click next and install it in the default directory. Now mine's saying it's already installed. I'm gonna pause this while it all installs so we can continue. Now that you've installed Python XY, we need to install OpenMDAO. To do this, click anywhere on the desktop, hold shift, right click and choose open command window here. You should see something like this and in here type python space go dash open mdao.py. Press enter and this will pretty much run through a script, a bunch of text and at the end say it's complete and that you need to activate it. Don't worry about that, you can close out of that now. It will also extract a folder to your desktop. It'll look a little bit like that. We're going to need a file from this later. You can now extract the webcam pulse detector master zip so we'll end up with another folder we're going to need a file from this too what we need to do is open up spider this is installed when you installed python xy and once you run that it will look something a bit like this we now need to set this up to run the webcam software so go to tools and then preferences and on the left hand side choose console and then advanced settings now this is already filled in for me because I did it earlier. What you need to do is choose that OpenMDAO folder on your desktop. There's a folder inside there called scripts and then it's python.exe. Once you've done that, this is pretty much set up to run your webcam software. So just go to file and then open and find that webcam pulse detector folder on the desktop. And you're looking for the folder inside that and a file called get underscore pulse.py. Double click that, and because this is pretty much a Python code editor, you're just gonna see a bunch of code. That's fine. All we need to really do now is run it. So let's go ahead and run it. It's gonna chug away for a little bit, and hello everybody. So this is a little bit laggy, and as you can see, already it started processing, so I apologize if my voice is behind. Uh, you can see it's trying to analyze my forehead. My lighting's not great either and my webcam is rubbish. So you can see it's uh, tracking my face. I can move around, but it's glitching around a bit. It's got an estimate. Now, this is not to be uh, used instead of proper equipment. This is uh, skipping around quite a lot. Now, what you can do is actually go onto the app and press S, and it'll be a lot faster. There we go. And uh, it's gonna give me 20 seconds. Now, a resting heart rate of 50 is really good. Uh, at the moment, I'm hovering around the high 50s and the 60s, which is fairly good for my age. But again, this is to, to be taken with a grain of salt. Oh, God, it's gone up to 80. Uh, so again, uh, because I'm moving around, you're supposed to keep still too. Uh, it's not going to be completely accurate. And it's showing me 56. That is not a bad score. So I'm going to leave that to hover around a bit. And uh, what you can also do is press D. This is a little bit buggy for me as well. So I'm gonna press it and show you guys what I see. This is supposed to show me cardiac info as a graph. Now I'm not sure if it's my graphics card or if it's a bug in the software or anything like that. If you guys know how to fix this, feel free to let me know in the comments. Maybe you've got uh, some issue along the, along, 
along the way somewhere and uh, if I have a look at what it should look like as you can see here it's pretty much a bunch of grass but for some reason if I put mine next to that you can see it pretty much is trying to get it maybe it's the fact that it's uh, struggling to get my image or the fact that my webcam sucks I have no idea but here we have my heart rate it is jumping around 60 but again take it with a grain of salt this is just something to play with and the fact that it's just doing this straight from looking at my face is pretty good you can also use this for things like video so feel free to do that and have a go and uh, that's about it really so i'll see you guys in the next video